system right now, I I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get the trials. I I they should just go back to just RP, just RP flat out, where people were getting like a hundred k a season and shit, and that like shit was stupid, and people were like complaining about it. Not the one, but they should just like have it cost more. So it's like realistically. You could only, you could cap out at like, like 80k RP. And that was like, that'd be like the most you can get because like, like maybe your penalty gets higher when you're in Pred. And it, it, I don't know. There's like a way you could do it where it's like. Where it's like this, right? Uh, how fat is this brush, bro? Okay. So, like, here's the ladder system, right? Here's the giant ladder. And let's say... I don't know what these I don't know what these are. Okay, let's say this is bronze. Silver. Gold. Plat. Diamond. Masters. And Pred. Okay, right? And say, like, you add up the RP. I don't know what the actual thing is. Say this is minus 50. Say this is 60. 70, 80, 90, and then you get to like 100, right? But then after Pred, it keeps going up. It keeps going up. So it's extremely hard to maintain. So like, so like say this is 110, right? And this is like another break point. Say this is like, say this is 20k maybe. For Pred. Which. I don't know. Like say Masters is 15k. Right. Right. And then like every so often. Like maybe every 5k or whatever. After the. After 15. Like for Masters. Because I guess the first person who gets Masters. Masters 1 or whatever. Or masters, I don't, I forgot how they did it, but like at whoever got that first, basically is pred, but like at five every five k after that it goes down. So like say, so like there'd be a point where like you literally cannot get more RP. Like you'd be evening out unless you dropped like a twenty bomb in a rank one lobby, and then maybe you could get higher. But the fact is, you'd have to do that every game to keep gaining. So, like... I don't know. It really depends on their matchmaking. Because, like, say... Because I feel like this is okay to match. Like, Diamond to Pred. Because if you're in Diamond and you actually want to rank up, you have to be... You have to be just as good as like some of the people in Pred, right? Obviously. You have to, you basically have to be two ranks better than your own to be able to rank up in any any rank game. That's usually how it goes. But you know, you have to be two ranks higher in skill level, but it, it's different because you add all in the variables about the points and this and that, this, that, this, that. And it's like you don't always do, you always don't well. So it's like you have to be two ranks higher. So like that's all right. But like the back here though, this should be separated. Like bronze and silver and then gold and plat. Plat shouldn't be with diamond. This should be like that, right? And then like at some point though, like there'd be like, I, I don't know. There'd be, like, a cap, though. There'd actually be, like, a cap of RP. Like how Overwatch did with, uh... 
like back in the day. I I personally didn't play rank then, but it was like it was SR, right? Uh, I don't even know what SR means. But like, I think it capped out at 5k. But there's ways to determine if, say, two people have the exact same thing. Whoever had the more, whoever has more wins between them, or games one, would be number one, and then that's how they would do it. So like, let's say, let's say the cap. Let's say, let's say it's 40k, right? Where's my, where's my cursor, dude? Let's say it's 40k cap, right? And you got 40k here. And then 20, this is 25. 30. And then you got a 35 in here, right? Because it, there's no point of at making it so it's like people are getting these giant numbers you want it to be hard to maintain you don't want some guy just holding rank one all season you want you want a hundred people fucking battling it out you know every for the shit every day like but right now it's like little johnny can get he can get the R, R, uh the RP to get here but like winning a game on that 5 I don't know you'd have to be like right now you'd have to be like here in skill level you'd have to be in diamond to rank up in bronze it doesn't it doesn't feel like you're actually playing in bronze anymore it feels like it feels like plat right now. I'm uh. It feels like old plat, and bronze. I'm not saying it's harder or anything. It just feels fucked up. They need to do it like this though. I swear, bro. People would like freak out if it was like this, dude. I don't know if it would be in a good way or not. But like, holy shit, dude. Holy shit, like that shit would be actually pretty sick to grind. And then you could say, oh, what's your peak? You don't say your peak rank. You would say your peak RP rank points. Like, this is, is that RP. RP check. And you're basically copying the, the old Overwatch system, which seems like everybody loved. I, I've never heard anyone complain about Overwatch 1 ranked. Everyone in Overwatch 2 complains about the system they had... I don't know, they just changed it, but they complained about it to where they just want the old SR system. Which Apex should just go to this. I don't I don't know all the numbers and all the details and all that shit. I'm not gonna try to figure it out this second, or maybe even at all. But it should be something like this to where it's just flat out. Like, oh, all I gotta do is get RP, and we're going up, boys. We're going up the ranks. And, like, realistically, like, it might be easy. It might be it might be fairly easy to get Masters at that point. But no one really gives a fuck. You know, like, no one's gonna give a fuck if, if you're Masters. Like, it, it's gonna be, like, kind of whatever. It's gonna be, like, did you get over 30k? Did you get over 30k RP? Or not? Could you maintain it? Like, after 20k to 40k, it should be hard as fuck. It should be hard as fuck. You know what I mean? And where you're catering to that thing, but then you also have this whole section on the left where it's like, eh, I wouldn't say it's easy to rank up because it just depends on your lobbies and the people you play against and play with. But like, you know, it's, it's kind of fairly casual where like, you know, it's easy to understand, and, and like, it just, it's kind of, like, smooth. Right now, it feels like, what the fuck? It feels like you're, you're completing a battle pass type vibe. Like, it would make it, it would make it pretty casual where you have a decent amount of masters, but, like, I, I think, also, they should do something else 
to where you can flex the amount of RP you have at the end of the season and what you ended on. Like, there'd be different... There'd be, like, different tiers. I don't know all the numbers and all the ranks and whatever, but there should be a cap, and there should be... There should be a way to flex whatever you get. Or it would say to on your profile, or you'd be able to get, like, season... Like, it would say, instead of, like, you getting a badge, it would be, like, it would be, like, one of those title things. I don't know if it's a title. Like, it would be, like, season. Right? It would be, like, season. Uh, 59, right? And then it would say, like, uh, like, Johnny got 23k, right? That's, that's fairly decent. It would be, like, 23k RP. And that'd be, like, your title. And like right here, like you could get these, th you could get these at the beginning of the season, so you could flex it while you're playing ranked, or you could just give it to the people after. Because I think, I think the rank rewards now are kind of shitty. I like no one really wants dive trails. It's kind of like I don't know. Maybe the kids do. Maybe kids playing the game do, and they're like, whoa. But it's kind of lame how they, you only keep it a season, and I don't know. It's not that's not that much of a flex. But like, if you were flexing, like, imagine you get into a pub lobby, right? And some pros are warming up, and they're all like thirty-five k to like they're in this four for thirty-five to forty k range. You'd be like, what the fuck? Because then you know, you would know, you would know. That they, they're like they are something to fuck with, you know. Like, I I I don't know how to put it. Like, like I I think like something like this would be so much better. Like, like say you get these at the beginning of the season, like whatever. They, it might be like whatever season color. And then it would have your RP, right? Or maybe maybe they make you buy it so you can flex it. Like, fuck it. Like, come on. I, we'll throw money at you. We'll, we'll make these... We might... This little title right here. This little title right here. We'll make this um, uh, optional, right? So you get your normal rewards. And then you can, you can make money from this. Like, sell this for like... I don't know, like 500 coins, right? I I don't know. I'm just fucking making shit up at point. But, like, the system now, it just feels like shit, dude. And I can't, I literally can't imagine Johnny and his two friends really getting past Platt this season. When in previous seasons, they probably... They might have been, they might have gotten Masters one season, kind of hanging around Diamond, higher Diamond, or like low, just in the Diamond area. I don't know. I, I think they should go with a thing where it's just RP, there's a cap to it, but like, it's extremely, extremely hard to maintain that 40. Like, you would have to be, your win percentage would have to be like, like like 80 to 90 right percent of the time you're winning the game like that type of vibe but like it, i i don't know I, it's like why why not make it easy for for like the lower ranks because this would make it e fairly easy for like this section of the board which you know is kind of it's kind of always been Apex's thing, and it kind of made rank fun. Where it was like, you know, it wasn't the hardest thing in the world, but it it was kind of difficult. I mean, I have a lot of hours in Apex, so I don't know if I can really say it was that easy. I have a lot of hours, especially on PlayStation. But, I I don't know. Like, I, I don't know why they're putting so much emphasis on just ranking up from bronze to silver, silver to gold, plat to diamond, like, this should just be like, this should take like a month for a normal casual, but now it, it might take the whole entire season. Do you want it to get to a point where 
it might be easy to rank up, but it's hard to maintain, and it's possible to go back. It's possible to go from this to this. It's possible to go from this to this, you know? I don't know, dude. I don't know, but the system now... It's just kind of weird. This would be insane. This would be insane. Like I would drop, I would drop Overwatch, and just grind Apex, dude. If they had a system like this, because one, I just made it up myself. Two, it seems baller. Three, I think it would be insane if people were just like, "Yo, RP check, RP check, yup, yup, yup." We got the thirty Ks in here, yup. Like, it would be sick. Like, no one would really care. Like, like, take out Pred. Take out the fact there's Pred, right? Like, say Masters is 20k, right? Say Masters is 20k. And then make a cap above Masters that's only 20 more k. So then the top 500, I mean, are battling it out. And that 35k to 40k range. But the only problem with this is matchmaking. I mean, I guess if you do diamond to pred, I, I feel like that's fair, fairly fair. And like gold to plat and sil silver and bronze. But this has to, the thing is that that shit has to be semi strict. Like you should never really see anything lower. And like diamond could could uh diamond should be able to queue with a pred because it, it kind of feels shitty and it's always kind of felt shitty in the past where like your friend gets masters or something and you're kind of like plat diamond area and you just you guys just can't queue because this area there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people in this area in season past, which is not ne not necessarily is a bad thing, but in season past they didn't have a cap on the RP. It they just they just went wild. They like dude had like two hundred fucking k or some bullshit. Like that doesn't make any fucking sense. There needs to be a hard cap where it's like it's almost like on paper. You, you you might be able to go above it if you dropped like a 30 bomb or some crazy shit or 20 bomb. And you might be able to, but the game won't let you really. But it'll just like maintain that 40k. And then say if there's more people at 40k, it would just be whoever has the most wins. And then that's how the ranking would go. I don't know. I think they should do a system like this. This is the end of the stream. So I'll catch you whenever I catch you, you know? I'll, I'll, uh, I will I'll might make this into a YouTube video, me discussing all this, uh, the rank options. So be on the lookout for it. <laughs> motherfuckers, motherfuckers, I'm a